In this video, we will discuss about two functions for calculating the number of working days between two dates. First one is network days function. Network days function will return the number of working days between two dates, assuming that Saturdays and Sundays are holidays. So let's see how to use network days function for calculating the number of working days between these two dates, that is 1st of August 2019 and 10th of August 2019. I will select this cell equal network days function first argument start date select the cell containing the date 1st of August 2019 comma then the second argument end date select the cell containing the date 10th of August 2019 when I press enter key function returns the value 7 that means there are 7 working days in between the dates 1st of August 2019 and 10th of August 2019. If you see the system calendar, 1st of August is a Thursday. So the number of working days starts from here, 1, 2. Then Saturday and Sunday are holidays. Then 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 10th of August is again a Saturday. That means there are 7 working days in between the dates, 1st of August and 10th of August. Once again, for calculating the number of working days for the year 2019 that is the number of working days in between 1st of January 2019 and 31st of December 2019 for that equal network days function start date is 1st of January 2019 comma then end date is 31st of December 2019 there are 261 working days in the year 2019. Now the third argument in network days function which is holidays. This third argument comes to help when we need to include otherwise consider additional holidays other than Saturdays and Sundays. For example these two dates that is 15th of August and 23rd of August. These two dates are public holidays in India. So when we calculate the number of working days for August we need to include otherwise consider these two dates. So let's see how to do that. Equal network days function. Select the cell containing the date 1st of August 2019, comma. Then the end date 31st of August 2019, comma. Now the third argument holidays. Select the cells containing the dates for additional holidays. V10 to V11. When I press the enter key, function returns the value 20. That means there are 20 working days in the month of August 2019. Now one more function for calculating the number of working days that is network days dot intl function. Network days dot intl function comes to help when the weekends are different from Saturday and Sunday. For example, if you want to consider Saturday also as a working day while calculating the number of working days for month of August, I will select this cell equal network days dot intl function. First argument start date. Select the cell containing the date 1st of August 2019, comma. Now the second argument end date. Select the cell containing the date 31st of August 2019, comma. And here is the third argument in network days dot intl function. There are many options listed here. Like I told you before, these options can be used when we have different weekends from Saturdays and Sundays. Right now I will be going for this option Sunday only. That means Saturday will be excluded from the weekend list. Comma. Now the fourth argument holidays. To include additional holidays, Select the cells containing the dates for additional holidays. When I press the enter key, function returns the value 25. That means there are 25 working days in the month of August with Saturday as working day and two public holidays that is 15th of August 2019 and 23rd of August 2019. 
I hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.